I want to speak about my 50 favorite thrust metal albums and here I have to first of all uh, to say something because uh, thrust and speed metal is one of my favorite uh, some genres inside metal music I decided here to speak only about 50 albums of the real old school thrust and speed metal first of all so uh, here I will not put something from bands uh, of, uh, of our days most uh, of the albums here are from bands from the 80s and the 90s uh, maybe some of them uh, in the beginning of uh, the millennium but uh, not afterwards uh, this is one thing secondly also here I decided uh, to speak about 50 different bands so every uh, band and one album this was a little bit difficult because uh, also I could speak of about uh, for example uh, many or some uh, uh, albums of the same band another thing uh, some bands here most of them they are thrust metal some of them they are crossover uh, some of them they are uh, thrust death metal style and some of them uh, um, they are more technical uh, in their sound here I, I, I will not speak about uh, thrust black or black thrust metal bands because uh, I, I consider these bands even more closer to black metal than to thrust metal maybe I will make another another video about uh, 50 and so on uh, uh, albums of uh, the new wave of old school thrust metal but here we have to speak about only about real old school thrust metal bands the origins of the bands most of them they are all from United States Bay Area thrust metal New York uh, scene of thrust metal and so on uh, some of them they are uh, let's uh, say from Germany the Teftonic thru German thrust metal a little bit from England thrust metal a little bit uh, uh, from um, Canada of course of course and uh, from some other countries so let's start first of all I will speak about some albums from uh, uh, other countries not uh, from uh, uh, the big uh, scenes of thrust and speed metal United States Germany Canada or maybe also England so let's start uh, here I will start with Coroner Coroner they are from Switzerland and here I will speak about their second uh, uh, album Punishment for Decadence a very good thrust metal album in reality even I prefer even more their last album Green but here I decided to put this album uh, because it's a real very good thrust metal uh, album and here we'll speak about also artillery from Denmark and their famous album by inheritance uh, also here they had the so uh, known song Comeniac a very 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 great uh, thrust metal album now I'm speaking about Brazil and here also I I could speak about Vulcano and about Sarcophago and about Mystifier but I, I think that these bands are even more closer to the first wave of black uh, metal so let's speak about Sepultura of course of course and uh, their third album Beneath the Remains also for me this was the first thrust metal album that I listened in all of my life so a very special album here also I, 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 could, I could put here also Schizophrenia uh, also I could put, put here Arise but I prefer to put uh, Beneath the Remains great album Slaves of Pain and now I'm coming to Australia and another thrust metal band from Australia Mortal Sin and this great thrust metal work Myhemic Destruction 
Uh, here we have also the great song Lebanon, about the first war of Lebanon, between uh, Israel and Lebanon. A great, great, great also uh, song and album. And uh, one special thrust metal band from Greece in these years, in the years of the 80s. And I'm speaking about the band Flames. And their second album, if I'm not sure, Summon the Dead, very, very great thrust metal band from Greece. Maybe here today, maybe many people, they know Greece and the, and, and the thrust metal scene from Greece because of the new, of, uh, of the new bands from there, of the new wave of old school thrust metal bands, Suicidal Angels, Speedras, and so many other bands uh, uh, from, from Greece. But here I'm speaking about uh, these days, and in these days we had, we had some special bands like uh, Despise, like Flames, of course, of course. And so now let's go to the United States um, scene. And I'm, st I'm starting with uh, here some bands that will be from Bay Area, some other bands from other places of the United States. First of all, the greatest thrust metal band, the band, and the, for, for maybe not band, the, the greatest thrust metal album of all time. And I'm speaking about Exodus and their debut album, Bodied by Blood, with a ball ball of in, in the vocals. Also, in the fourth season of Cobra Kai, they spoke about this album. A great album here. Everything is great, 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 great. Bodied by Blood from Exodus. Secondly, Metallica and their debut album, Kill Em All. For many people, this is the first thrust metal album of all time. A great album for me, even, is, is the best. Metallica and uh, album, in my uh, personal opinion, great album. Megadeth, and here I will put their second album, uh, Pieces, but who's buying? Also here I could speak about Pieces, uh, uh, about a, a rest in a rest in peace, but I prefer to uh, to put this album, great also album. Thrust metal album of Megadeth. And I'm continuing with Testament. Testament, also in the beginning they were influenced by Metallica, but here we'll speak about their second great album, The New Order. And now, Weplus. Weplus, I'm not sure if they, if they were from New York, I'm not sure from the scene of New York, the Three Tonys. Uh, uh, also from, uh, from Italian origin, uh, if I'm not sure. Uh, a great, great uh, album. This is the first debut album of them with uh, an awful, of course, uh, cover art, but the album is great. Uh, Power and Pain of Whiplas. And now I'm, I'm continuing with another great thrust metal band from New York, Overkill. And here I prefer to, put, to speak about their first debut album, uh, Feel the Fire. Some people, they say that this album is not exactly th um, original thrust metal, maybe a little bit uh, speed metal, maybe a little bit uh, uh, style between uh, US power, speed and thrust metal, but I, th I think that's even more thrust metal than uh, everything uh, else. A great album of Overkill. And now let's speak about Slayer, for me, the most beloved uh, thrust metal band. But, I said before, in, in any case, I prefer a Bodied by Blood of Exodus as the most beloved thrust metal album. Uh, here I could speak about Rain Blood, I could speak about South of Heaven, I could speak about Hell Awaits, and I know that maybe many, many people will not agree with me. I will put here the debut album, So No Mercy. For me, the best Slayer album, the most beloved uh, thrust uh, 
a metal album of Slayer. I know some people will say it's not exactly thrash. Here you, you can listen some um, influences of new wave of British heavy metal inside this album. Yes, but I love this song so much. For example, uh, Bar Black Magic, and not only. Uh, this is one of the best um, thrash metal band, uh, all albums of all time, in my personal view. And if we speak about the big four, so we have to speak also about Anthrax. Maybe I, I'm not a very great um, follower uh, of Anthrax, but uh, I, I can say that uh, this album, Among the Living, is the best album of them, or the one also very great thrust metal uh, album. Also Among the Living, also because of, of some great songs like Indians, like uh, Among the Living, uh, I Am the Low, A Skeleton in the Closet, and so on and so on. And here, if, we, if I'm speaking about Anthrax, I have to speak about uh, also Nuclear Assault. Nuclear Assault of uh, uh, Danny Linker, he was also in the beginning inside Anthrax. A nuclear result, one great thrust metal band from with some crossover um, elements in their uh, also in their music. Their debut album, Game Over, the best of the best uh, for me. And if we speak about crossover, let's speak about SOD, Stormtroopers of Death, members uh, of Nuclear Assault like Linger, members of Anthrax. Scott Ian and so on and so on. They made this um, uh, crossover uh, uh, band and this is their debut album, Speak English or Die. Uh, for example, March of the SOD is one of the greatest uh, uh, beginning songs of, uh, of thrust metal albums generally. And another crossover band, DRI, uh, Dirty Rotten uh, in, in Pencils, if I'm not if I prefer it well. And their album, Four of a Kind, I know that many people prefer it their first album because it's a little bit more uh, influenced by Slayer. But I will put here uh, this uh, great album of them. Of course, with. Uh, the great uh, uh, mascot of them. <laughs> now, another band um, that is a little bit more um, technical, a little bit more between thrust, death, something like that. And I'm speaking about the Devastation and their a great album, Idolatry. Great, great, great also uh, uh, band. And I'm continuing with the same way. Another band also between thrust and death metal. Deceased, deceased, deceased. And their great uh, album of them, Fearless and Dead Man Sins. If I'm not sure, maybe this album is a little bit more uh, late from the other albums. Uh, if I'm not sure. And now, Death Angel. Death Angel. And their debut album, The Ultra Violence, for me, one of the best thrust metal albums of all time, also. And I'm continuing with another band between thrust and death metal, Sadus. And here I will put their album, Saluted in Black. Also, I like them very, very much. Another band that many people will say that this, they are even more the forefathers of speed metal than thrust metal, but I prefer to speak about them like a thrust metal band. Hands and Steel, and their debut album of them, uh, Skeptics Apocalypse, great also album of Hands and Steel. Now, another band, uh, Hyrax. Hyrax, they're so also great. In these first albums of them, here we have Not Dead Yet, uh, 
they play the style of between thrust metal crossover with punk uh, influences in the music a great 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 band and another band with technical thrust metal anacrusis and their great also album screams and whispers Here also I will speak about Dark Angel. Many people prefer, prefer their second uh, studio album, Dark Lands, uh, Descendants, but I will put here their debut album. We have arrived. Uh, unfortunately, this is not the real uh, original uh, cover art of the album, but also a great uh, band and a great album. Now I will speak another band, a little bit more uh, melodic, uh, may maybe between power, US power and thrust metal, but I prefer to speak also about them like sp thrust metal, not exactly speed, holy terror, and here I have a combination of their greatest uh, first albums of them, Mind Wars and Terror and Ambition, Sam and I prefer, of course, Mind Wars this album uh, to speak about, about Holy Terror. Now another band, Violence. Violence, uh, they are so famous also because uh, Rob Flynn afterwards made the Machine Head, but if we speak about Violence here we have to speak about their masterpiece, Eternal Nightmare, with this great also cover art. Inside 2022, they will, they will, uh, they are coming with a new EP after so many years. And now, Hallows Eve, another great band, also not exactly thrust, maybe a little bit more speed metal. And here you could speak about their first album, Tales of Terror. This is a combination. So, but I prefer to speak about their second album, Death and Insanity. So let's uh, uh, find the, the real cover art of this album, Death and Insanity. So great album with a very so with so great also cover art. And the, and the song also, Death and Insanity, is great, great, great. I will continue now with another also uh, combination, but I'm speaking about Sack Reich. Sack Reich, and uh, many people also prefer um, their uh, second album of them. But here I will speak about their debut album, uh, their debut album by the name uh, uh, Ignorance. For me, this is a, the, is a great, great uh, album. And here we have uh, uh, the cover art. Let's find it. Yeah, the cover art of Ignorance of Sark Reich. And I'm continuing with another band from the United States, Heathen, of Lee Altus. He's, today he's uh, uh, with uh, Exodus. And I'm speaking about their also debut album of them, Breaking the Silence. Many people prefer their second album of them, but they prefer this uh, debut album. A little bit more speed metal maybe in this uh, album. Uh, for example, here we have also the song... Uh, <laughs> Koblin's Blade, great song also. Great, great album of Heathen. And now another very technical thrust metal band, Toxic. And their debut album, uh, World Circus. I like it so much. I'm continuing with Forbidden. And here also you could speak about their first album, debut album, 
And but here I will speak about the second album, Twisted into Form. Maybe a little bit more technical, but a great, great also album of thrust metal. And here now I'm coming to the English thrust metal scene. First of all, on slot from England. And the, also here I could speak about the their debut album, but I will prefer to speak about their second album, The Force. Great thrust metal album from England. Another band from England, Death Wish, and their album, and Demon Preacher. Many people, maybe they know this album about a t-shirt of Lemmy of, the, of Motorhead. Uh, but also it's a great thrust metal uh, band from, uh, from the United Kingdom. Yes, here I'm not speak about Sabbat and not speak about uh, Xandrix. Also great bands from England uh, of thrust metal, but here I spoke about Onslaught and Deathwish. And now let's go to the German Teftonic thrust metal scene. Let's start with uh, Paradox. Paradox, uh, they were a little bit more influenced by the United States uh, style of thrust metal. Uh, in the beginning, they were very, they had, they had many influences from, from Metallica. Many people prefer their album Heresy, but here I will put their first debut album, a Product of Imagination. Yes, it's a little bit more speed, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, Metallica style. But I like it so much. I'm continue with another band, and not between speed and thrust metal. Afterwards, they became even more power metal uh, with uh, symphonic elements. But uh, I'm speaking about their first period of time. Raids from uh, Germany. Uh, in this period of time, they had some uh, two also Greek guys two brothers of Themiadis inside the, uh, the band and their great uh, album The Missing Link uh, great great album and yes I, sp I think this is something between speed and thrust metal this album and another band also from Germany also speed metal thrust speed a little bit even more speed metal Risk fortunately they're not so big they were not so big, and their debut album, the great debut album, the Daily Horror News, I know, the, it's, it's, it's so funny, this cover art, you, you don't expect to listen to, 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 to a metal album with uh, this cover art, or even an extreme thrust speed metal uh, style of metal, but it's like Dora Exploradora, the cover art, but it's so great, so great album of them, very, 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 uh, in some songs they are very close to their um, other German guys, uh, also forefathers of the speed metal, Halloween, with also the forefathers of the power metal, uh, the Euro power, but with their first album, I'm speaking about Halloween, Walls of Jericho, so some things from there are very also close to this album, of risk, but this is a great also album. And I'm continuing with another also German band uh, with some United, with some uh, elements of uh, American thrust metal. And I'm speaking about Exumer and their debut album, uh, Possessed by Fire. Of course, uh, the song Fallen Saint, a great song of all time inside the thrust metal scene. Another also band from Germany with only one album, if I'm not sure, Violent Force, Violent Force, and their great uh, album, um, uh, Levolent Assault of Tomorrow. Also, Fernis of Dark Throne likes this album so much. And I'm continuing with, of course, with Tankard. The great uh, beer drinkers, and I prefer to speak about uh, Chemical Invasion. If I'm not sure, this is their second studio album. Also, a great album of Tankard. 
I like uh, most of their works. And another also obscure thrash metal band from Germany, Necronomicon. And here we have to speak about their, I'm not sure, their, this is the second, third album. I think this is the third album of them. Uh, Escalation, also so great, so great. Another also Germany, uh, another band from Germany, Holy Moses. Holy Moses, one of the first thrust metal bands with uh, female uh, vocals of Sabina. Uh, this is their first debut album, Queen of Siam. And here they play, uh, uh, they play a very dirty thrust metal style of German, German thrust metal style uh, with big influences of Venom inside their music and I'm continue now with the for me the best German thrust metal band of all time Sodom and their second let's say second studio album some people will say their first debut, debut album uh, okay and I'm speak about uh, persecution mania and also cool here I could speak about the uh, uh, and orange but I prefer to speak about this album for me it's so great so great and then continue with Germany destruction here I will put there um, I think that this is a um, their second second album, yes, their second album, uh, Eternal Devastation. This is the album. Great, also album of them, and the best for me, the best album of uh, Destruction. Also, in to, inside 2022, they will uh, come with a new album. And if we speak, spoke about uh, uh, destruction, about Sodom, and about Tankard, so let's speak also about Creator from Germany. Also here I could also speak about other albums of them like uh, Extreme ag uh, Aggression, but I will prefer here to speak about their second debut album, Pleasure to Kill. For me, this is uh, the best of the best of Creator. Maybe I in sometimes I prefer extreme aggressions a little bit more, um, but I decided to speak about uh, here about this phenomenal album of the pleasure of kill to kill pleasure to kill, and now some albums from Canada. So let's start about sacrifice, and here I could also speak about their first three albums of them, they are uh, all of them great, but I, here we speak about the debut album, uh, Torment in Fire, is a little bit more, uh, uh, here we have some uh, influences of Slayer, Sander Music, uh, great also uh, band, great uh, album of Sacrifice. And now Annihilator, of course, some people will say this is not exactly thrust, maybe it's a little bit more, more, more speed. In any case, here we'll speak about the first debut album, Alice in Hell. Uh, this, together with their second album, Never, Neverland, they're the, 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 the two great albums of them of all time, and they prefer a little bit even more Alice in Hell. Also, is songs like Alice on Hell, uh, like a word salad, uh, uh, schizos are never alone, and human uh, incenticide, they're so great. Also, the cover art is so great in this album. Another band from Canada. A little bit more uh, speed metal than thrust metal, exciter. Some people 
prefer to speak about them like heavy metal or like uh, speed metal. I think that they are something between speed and thrust metal exciter. And here we'll speak about the debut album, a Heavy Metal Maniac. Uh, it came out a little bit even before, some months before Kill em All of Metallica. And you can listen here influences of Mortohead, of Judas Priest, but they are great, 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 great. Also, I could speak about Anvil from Canada. Uh, but here I will speak about also another great Canada, Canadian thrust metal band, Infernal Majesty. Yes, and their first debut album, Non Sal Defy. Uh, also with a big influence in many other bands afterwards. And two other also albums. Slaughter. Slaughter from Canada. And their second album, if I'm not sure, Strapado. A great also album. Uh, very extreme to their music. Chuck of Death. Uh, he has a connection with them in the beginning. A great album of Canadian thrust metal, and last but not least, Razor. Razor, this band is one of my favorite uh, thrust metal bands uh, from the Canadian thrust uh, met thrust metal scene. Also, inside 2022, they they say that they will make a new album after so many years. So I preferred, also I could here speak about many of their first albums, but I prefer to speak about this great album, Violent Restitution, a great, great, great thrust metal album of all time. So th uh, these were some of my favorite uh, thrust metal albums uh, of the old school thrust metal. Uh, 50 albums of them from Jerusalem, from Israel, Stay Metal and Stay Heavy.